Hello everyone. Garvit.com presents to you a video on internet.org by Facebook. So what's the equation? If you put Facebook and Reliance Communication together in a tie-up to provide free internet access to all the users of Reliance Communications, do you get affordable internet access or restrictiveness? That's the basic question. Okay, the aim of internet.org is to bring affordable internet access to everybody by increasing affordability, increasing efficiency and facilitating the development of new business models around the provision of internet access. Okay, India is the sixth country to get internet.org uh, by Facebook after Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya, Colombia and Ghana. Mark Zuckerberg says that more than a billion people in India do not have access to the internet. That means that they cannot enjoy the same opportunities many of us take for granted and the entire world is robbed of their ideas and creativity. So what exactly is this thing? It's basically a platform wherein it is only give, being given to the subscribers of Reliance Communication and those people who have an internet enabled handset will be given an Android app which will then provide them with free internet. So they will not have to pay for the internet but this internet will be slightly restricted as it is going to give access to only some particular things. There will be 38 websites like Facebook, Wikipedia, Reliance Astrology which will be a mix of music, news, education, weather and health sites. There will be one loan search option that is Bing. The reach of this initially is going to be in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala but there will be a pan India launch in three months. So uh, just a fact right now is that 70% of Reliance customers do have internet enabled phones but are currently offline. So the advantages which have been touted is that it will accelerate internet penetration. Also it will open new socio-economic opportunities to the users in fields like education, information and commerce. So basically the idea is that when you provide cheap internet access to the users, in this case particularly users of Reliance Communications, then there will be more businesses which will come up to exploit the user base which now has the newly provided internet. So there will be startups or companies focusing on education and information and commerce which will be targeting this new base of customers and it will be a win-win situation for everybody. But obviously like anything, this is not without its own critique. Uh, first of all, it provides a challenge to the neutrality of the internet. That is, it breaches the principle of net neutrality. There is another video by Garvit which explains the principle of net neutrality. Another issue is that it has selective access to the internet. So this means there are certain websites which are not part of this bouquet. Currently internet.org is only a tie-up with Reliance. But what if it spreads to other you know, providers? So the websites which are not part of this, for instance uh, google.com. So the only search provider in this case is Bing. So um, is Google losing out on a lot of customers because of this tie-up? Is it sort of monopoly and misuse of monopoly power by having these kind of tie-ups? Those are issues which need to be examined. So uh, these are some uh, people uh, like uh, for instance um, uh, Ethan Zuckerman who is an internet activist and the director of the center of civic media at MIT. He says if Facebook were to be basically donating millions of billions of dollars to upgrade infrastructure or even to lobby mobile phone carriers for cheaper data services for all, it would be less troubling. But instead, they are offering a limited version of the internet. Limited version because they are providing only around 38 websites. One that centers on Facebook to low income internet users. That raises real questions that this is not a charitable effort but a customer acquisition strategy. Okay, this is uh, also important. Internet.org model violates most definitions of net neutrality as it provides access to a limited menu of services claiming to be the internet. So in a way, these people are defining what the internet is or should be for low income user because it is not providing the entire gamut of web services that are available on the internet. And since it is an exclusive deal with a single mobile service provider, it also calls into question the genuineness of Mark Zuckerberg's publicly stated motive of bringing the internet to a billion people and bridging, bridging the digital divide. This is being said by Pranesh Prakash, Policy Director, the Center for Internet and Society. So basically, uh, these are the two ends of the argument and we leave it to you to decide which one of these arguments is more valid. So Mark Zuckerberg on the one hand is saying that they are providing cheap internet services to low income users. On the other hand, 
the critique the critics are saying that it's basically a violation of the principle of net neutrality and in a way it's just a way of pushing your own platform your own uh, website which is facebook to the low income users and giving them a very restricted you know warped up version of the internet and basically also in the way in the process crowding out the other service providers we we'll leave it to you to take your call um i hope you like the video subscribe for more such videos thank you